Baustab. You'd better know what you are and work from that. I wasn't even your age, I guess, when I asked my mother if she wouldn't show me how to dress a chicken. Of course, we had chickens at home all the time. And so when you needed chicken, you killed a chicken. And of course, then you killed it. After you killed it, you had to dip it in a bucket of boiling water so that the feathers would come loose. You know, if you killed him, you probably took his head off on the on the chop block, chopping block. See, it's probably it's probably what I did was take the take the head off. Now some people used to ring their neck, different things. Anyway, then I I brought him in here and I I cleaned him with soap and water. So I wanted that chicken clean, and I cut it all. I cut the innards out and I. Uh, cut the pieces apart and then sometimes I would can it. You can put raw chicken in a jar, put a seal on it, put it in the, and then you put it on in the pressure cooker and you, you, you have it on the heat. You have to watch the gauge carefully because a pressure cooker is dangerous. Mm -hmm. They will explode. You'll know when that chicken is cooked it will cook in that jar, and it will come out of that jar, and you can keep it all winter. Okay, now you know how you know all about it. I was born in 1914. I came from a family of a people who worked. My mother and her sisters were all well known for being a great workers and they they would they would do remarkable things i think dad was a gambler he was a a tin horn gambler he wasn't around much and i saw so i didn't see a lot of him he would uh, concoct a, a group and then play cards and win money and so on and, uh, you know, that's not something that the kid needs to be around. Until he finally got that little branch and, and uh, they raised fruit. My mother, he, he, my mo he put mother to work as a cook. Mm -hmm. he, she, he, he put her to work in a cook. She could cook for people. Well, that was handy. She never knew what. She worked like everything. She was a worker. When I was in high school, and mother was taking care of this woman as a, she was a patient, and she had, uh, I think she'd had a stroke and she was in very bad shape. And mother had, had to, she had, mother had been hired by the county to take care of her. But she took us, she had to have some place for us. So in for them, otherwise they were stuck with this woman who was helpless, massive, and unable to help herself at all. So they had to hire somebody. So they hired mother. It was an awful job for mother to do this, to have to take care of her. The, you see, she she couldn't she couldn't clean herself. She couldn't do anything. And mother had she did a huge laundry every day. She had to wash all her bedding every day. Think how mother worked. Simply to feed us. She died there, and when she went, and at the time as she died, she went through the rattling. Of course, you don't know about that. You you do you know that people sometimes rattle as they die? Mm. -mm. When well, she did, 
And of course, then mother lost the job because the job was gone. She, the job died, see? You weren't in one place for long. That salmon country is something, though. It is an amazing thing. Yeah. But there were good times and bad times. The traveling, you know, their whole families did. And they would, they would, they would travel together and take a contract and do certain work and then they'd work and, and, and finish it and, and pass on to another job. Now that's the way some of them did. Heck, with, with me, it was do whatever you can where you are. We went out in the, in the valley to pick strawberries. They paid us so much a crate. They were beautiful strawberries. I picked strawberries and of course I was out in the open. It was wonderful, clear, you know and with friends. I did that for a while. I don't know how long. So then I hitchhiked to Spokane. I wasn't a cook. I was just an assistant. Well, anyway, I took off and, and, and took a bus and ended up in, in uh, Reno. I broke off my job with art. Now, these, this was way off in, in uh, Arizona and left and headed north, headed north to find mother again. And I had to, I had to cross the entire section of the country. Yeah, that's a long time ago. As really crazy as our life was, you know, you weren't, you weren't in one place for long. Bob was a good guy. He was one of the smartest men. He was really brilliant. He was in the service. He was, he was, uh, he never swore. I'm, I was the one that swore. Yeah. Of course, that's what I learned. That's what I learned when I was just about as big as two bits. Now, here, now, Bob, you see, this was a, this was a concrete here, you see, but this was, now Bob used a, he, he broke this out with a star drill. I'm going to use that, now I know that there is a life here, okay, now this is the down, now when Brendan come in, up in here, he said, his, Awesome! <laughs> Can you imagine it? No, there's all this trash. This is, I've had this thing full of canned fruits. I don't know. This all this stuff needs to be cleaned out. See, Bob did this. Bob dug all of this out. Every bit of this out. He dug this out and carried it out in a bucket, <laughs> right up those stairs and outside. Now that's what he did in the early years. If you would show this to somebody, they wouldn't believe it. But he had dug all of this out. Bob built this, and he built that front section in front of the house. But the house, this house, is a house that was moved in here from out in the country somewhere. It was done when it was, it was just a piece of old, old thing moved in here. And when we, boy did Bob and I work on this. Yeah. We stuck out this building. It is unbelievable. People just wouldn't believe you. So what was the, the original house was just what, how much? Just of an old house. Just here. this kitchen? I'll show you where, what it was. This, it was this house, this right here. This kitchen? Yeah, and then, and then. And this bathroom? And this living room here, see? 
He built the garage and, and the upstairs. Yeah, and he couldn't build. Now, there was a door. Oh, let me see. <laughs> there was a door over there. And Roanne was just tiny, you know, she was little. <laughs> but she, uh, and she had a cat that was, she had, she'd get, have a, <laughs> she had a, uh, it was a mop, I think. And the cat would jump on the mop and she'd be on the, 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 the handle and she would run through the place and the cat right after her. It was quite something. Bob did this. I don't know how in God's name he did it. The only thing is he didn't know enough to, to give you cross ventilation. He didn't know enough about building. See what the house is. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a troublesome thing. And how much, um, how much did you guys pay for the original house before you, when you moved in? Oh, three thousand dollars, I think. And that was in nineteen fifty or nineteen forty-eight. Forty-six. Forty-six. Yeah, we paid three thousand dollars for this, but we didn't have this. These additions. Yeah. He borrowed fifteen hundred dollars to to uh, to get material and went ahead. And and did the rent, I did the other. Where did he borrow fifteen hundred dollars from? From a bank or? Yeah, from the first metal. And how long did it take him to get this stuff built? Oh, I don't know. My God, <laughs> you can't. Was it? You can't expect me to, to remember all of these details. 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 Do you remember that rolling pin? All right. All right, all right. The one that your mother had. See, my mother. That she asked. Was on the the one that's at your house that you use forever. The, the, the cow pro. They had a guy they were hired to help. Well, I don't know where Dad was. He was probably off gambling someplace. But anyway, this guy wanted pie. He wanted a pie. All right. She didn't have a pie. She didn't have a rolling pin. So. She said, well, you fix me a rolling pin and I'll make you a pie. So what does he do? He goes to the woods and he cuts a tree, which had to be this big, see? He cut a tree, a young tree. And he cut it, he took, cut it down and he hand whistled, whittled this rolling pin. He whittled and cut the thing, you see? You see the marks in it? And it, he cut. And this, this rolling pin has its own handles. Because you see, they're part of the pot, a pin. Mm -hmm. Now this is older than I am. I suppose maybe you've got to live through the whole period in all order to to judge, I don't know. You know what it would take to pay for a person in a nursing home? Well, it would mean that the property would have to sell in order to pay for what it would cost to, make, to just keep me alive. And that's stupid. When I no longer have value, the only way I can pass is to merely keep myself moving. It's unfortunate, really, when you get to the end of the rope and you, and you, um, you, you no longer have control of that which you believe, you yeah. know? Even, you can't control it because it just isn't there.
I think I'm going to have to get outside. Good idea. Or they'll just think you're crazy. That's a, and that's all right too. We might surprise ourselves and find out that we are. We have an What do you see? Where This is what the finished product looks like. Ta-da! Yeah! <laughs> Talk to yourself once in a while and <laughs> see what comes out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> So you, you broke your favorite cup though, right? It wasn't the favorite, it was just the one I used. And the reason, reason I used it was because I didn't particularly like it. It's not too important. How did it break? I dropped it. I dropped it, it or it fell and the way it went. Yeah. It three pieces. Hmm. Oh well, what's so what? It was mine. Yeah. Yeah, and it wasn't the best in the world. Now, I have others that really are, and that one of the, and that is a good cup. No, there are some cups in here that are, are might be more valuable, but I still say that we can eat, use one of them if we want to. If when a person dies, if there is what the first action will be, will the uh, the house will can be just closed. I suppose they could just close it if they wanted to. A lawyer could. I don't know whether he could or not. Is he going to put it through under in? And is there, a, there is a charge for, for uh, what they call probating. Her, the power of attorney is in her hand, but she does not know what to do. And he'll make a charge, of course, for probating it. They do that. And yeah. there will be a tax. The government may take a tax. Now they charge. They charge you merely to talk to them. Lawyers? Yeah. Yeah. It's true. 
I think I should talk to the lawyer. I should, I should, whatever it costs. And they will, but they take so much anyway, don't they? No. Huh? Your, your estate is not going to be subject to federal estate tax. Oh. Can you explain what the process of probate is? Like yeah, what that's... will happen? Yes. Uh, when someone dies, we take their will up to the district court with what's called a petition for probate, which means that we are telling the court that that person has died away, died, and that this is attached to it is a copy is their original will, and we file an inventory with the court saying these are the assets. Now, who does this? You the do. The attorney and the personal representative working together. Okay. Cost to have your assets appraised. The filing fee with these the These are the charges court. that go against you. So you don't, that's money that isn't going to get to you. Yes. Yeah. How yeah. do you want your property distributed after your death? Well, I would like, I would like the kids, of course, the six of them, to have a nice medium, as near as even. I don't want them to have any one of them to have the main thing. When you say the six kids, who do you mean? Roanne's kids. Well, with the house, they don't divide it in kind. They always order it to be right. sold. Right. Because you can't really divide a house in no, kind in six can't. ways. Maybe mm -hmm. we ought to just sell the darn place. And well, I'll, you need I'll a just place. divide the thing. And you need a place to live, and that's your best place Forget to it. be. So, did you sign that list? We have I not done, done it yet. No. You need to date she it does and need sign it. To have it signed you say it. we need to date it and sign it. The list date it and, and get ready it. for my demise and your your uh, probate. Probate. I'll okay. tell you, be careful. I'll tell you. I'll come back and oh heck no, I'm not going to because I. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to come back. Good <laughs> Lord. <laughs> You know what? You wouldn't want to know what I think. Okay. Well, then we'll just leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> because I'll tell you, <laughs> I'm not too happy with the human being. Okay. Well, <laughs> we can't have no time we'll just, for that discussion. We'll just leave it there time. You bet, because I'll tell you, this, this brain is no kidding. I'll tell you, now what do I owe you? You don't owe me anything. Well, I'm just sitting here waiting for that probate, Olga. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to call him, well, even all if it's right, 2 in the I'm, morning listen, and say, Tim, I'm, I'm, get I'm gonna, ready for I'm probate. I'm not going to worry anymore about it until I'm dead. All right. right. And then I'm not, I don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to pay a bit of attention even then. Okay. No. Okay. You know. There's a time to stop worrying, Olga. Well, I have, I don't, I'm a fuss budget. Are you? Yeah. But I'm also an exactor. And I'm a hard worker. Good for you. I can't work, but I, I, I like to think I do. Well, good. Give it your best shot. Well... Well, what kind of pie are you going to make him, Grandma? Probably a lemon pie, because... Do you like lemon pie? I like all pie. They're, you're not going to make a pie that I don't like. Oh. Well, I'll tell you, I'll try to be careful. Okay. Because, you know, I'm not quite the woman I've been in the past. <laughs> if you can still make pie, that's the main thing. Oh. It needs to be signed and dated, so we need to get that list. The list? Yep. And, and get her what? signature on it and the date. That's That will be the stuff that comes out of my house. That That's yeah. the stuff that he's going to say, yep, they, those people can have it. It doesn't need to go through, yeah. you know, okay. the process. All right, we'll do it. Now, let's just start getting rid of things. Ann calls the bed. Leon gets this shot glass. I want everything wrong. No, that's... Okay. You want, you want. Uh, that cribbage board and that painting right there. I don't think we're going to fight and cause problems with anything. We'll be understanding and say, hey, if nothing else, we'll share it. That way we can watch that and laugh when we're in our fifth year of litigation. Really? You don't know me. You don't know me that well. I have used this for years and I've had more people on for dinner at this table, and you can have it. All right, but this was done by Aunt Vita, Vita Peterson. My mother made these, and Listen they would the last 20 trucks. years. I know they will, trucks. because I'll have one on the back porch to dinner last for 20 years. You want a little help up? Nope, don't need it. All right.
space vehicles. Did you think you, that I couldn't get up? I've got the toughest gun oh, belly oh. you ever saw. Careful. Yeah, heavy gun. Yep. Yes, you do, Grandma. I can vouch for it. Oh, this is the way you do it. <laughs> you don't have to have the grit, but you have to punch and punch. Feel my muscles. Yep. <laughs> I have a muscle, haven't I? Yep. I push against the wall as hard as I can. You see that? Now that's why I have that, that's why I have these muscles. Come on, Grandma, show me. Oh it. yeah. <laughs> the best stomach. Go back. Oh, oh. oh. I have muscles I have now. Yeah. Would like you get me a drink, mommy? Yeah. He doesn't like the, he doesn't like the intensity of my muscles. <laughs> You know you're a strange bunch of kids. No kidding, you really are. Uh, you are not like one another. I don't think there's a single one of you that anybody could say is like the other one. You're no. different. Yeah. And and how this could happen, I don't know. You should have it now and get it out of the place. Can you tell me what? What happened to your eye? I don't know. Your black eye? How'd you get that black eye? What's black? Your eye that's... Huh? Your eye that's got that injury. This one here? Yeah. What part of it? Well, how did that happen? I fell. Right here in the kitchen. Hit the... Hit the wall. You hit the, the countertop? No. The floor. Oh, you hit the floor? Evidently. What were you doing? I don't know. You were just in here walking? Well, I don't know what I was particular to why I fell. See, I don't know why, the, why I fell. I never really know. Yeah? It's a strange thing that uh, it's it's a strange thing that it's it's like this. What do you need, Grandma? Huh? What do you need? Do you want to go? Oh, I really want. Is that better? Here, I'll let you go. She's breathing easy. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hello, Alden. Oh, you've got company here. Here we go. Let's try some apple juice. How's that sound to have geranium jelly and crepes? Did you think that? Can you say hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Grandma's Kitchen? No. Cooking up a storm in Grandma's Kitchen. Yes, I'm cooking up a storm in Grandma's Kitchen. Measure that carefully. We'll measure it carefully. Measure, measure it carefully and have it ready. What are you doing? I'm making a cooking show. Oh. I put it together with the one, two, three recipe. It was just that simple. It was three eggs, two cups of milk, one cup of flour. Your saucer. Can you see it? Brother. We'll have to put a little fat right around the top.
to, to stop the action, see if it gets that way for free. Now I'll try and... Because I have no idea. I just hoping they have, these have a lot of oil in them. So that they, the flavor comes through. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. We could, we could, I don't know, maybe it's silly to, it's, it might be silly to, I don't know. Since I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be growing geranium anyway. At some point, you're not going to die for another 24 years anyway, so. The devil I'm not, I'm going to check it out today. <laughs> as soon as we get done with this? Yeah. You're checking out? Yeah. Oh. You're not coming to the party tonight? I don't imagine. Why not? Well, I think I'll be on the way. I don't know how often. One, uh, thinks about their body as a, a thing. I do not know the time when I started to fail. I don't know when it happened. Uh, the approximate time uh, where I was, whom, uh, who, who were the people that were around me? I don't know. Who are you going to show this to? Huh? I don't know, anybody who says you can't live to be 94 and still rake the yard. I don't remember the, that I was beginning, perhaps, to, to fail. And I never imagined that I would fail and feel as I do at this moment. You have to take in into consideration the kind of independent person that you are and know what kind of person that you are. That's important. And maybe that might give you some inkling as to how I feel at this moment with my handicap, what it is, how difficult it is to handle and uh, how I justify my existence being more or less a worthless creature. I never, I never expected to. I thought that, I thought when you were, I always thought that when you were middle-aged by about 30, you were middle-aged. And you were old soon after that. <laughs> a joke on me, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> as difficult it, 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 as it is for me to do anything uh, since I am I wonder if I wonder if the, you really really realize how little I can do yeah huh yeah. It's um, uh, because I don't see, why well, therefore I'm not going to see everything you do in any way. Now, my eyesight is not the eyesight of a blind person because many people are blind, some of them from birth. And they have, somehow, they have an automatic something that teaches them to be comfortable in, in space. See, I'm not comfortable in space. I need to know where I am. And yet, I can see the floor and I can see the furniture around. See, I can see that much. So you can see I'm, I'm blind, but not blind. But I am truly blind as far as accomplishment is concerned because I cannot 
do something with something else. However, I did make, I did make, but it was a poor job, I will admit. I made two pie crusts yesterday. This one hand works, this one doesn't. Okay. And I used the hand alone and used the combination of, of material that I needed to make a crust. That was fat and fat and flour, a little salt. And the thing is, you see, I can tell by feeling if the if the texture is right. Now this is something that I don't know how to explain this because I don't know how another person would make a pie crust and do the do this with the two ingredients that I used and then using only one hand get it com get it mixed so that it finally made a crust. That might be an interesting thing for someone else to to hear. I don't know. What happened to your hand, your bandaged hand? This one? Yep. Well, I fell. Is there anything new going on? What happened this morning? Well, nothing. I just... I was, I was had the walker and was walking and it's tangled up with the, I was in the kitchen and I wasn't getting anywhere. I wasn't, see I was thinking about making the oatmeal. Well, But I fell. I was tangled up between the the walker, the walker and the that other chair. I was tangled between them. Oh, here he comes! He's got a gun. Yep. How did I see that? It, it, there's a the connection with the body. I don't know how I explain this to you. But, you know, if, if you know that you've got to walk across this room and you don't know for sure that you can do it, you can't do it. I can't even walk on two feet. Move two feet that won't even... See? At least I'm standing on my own feet. Standing on your own two feet, Grandma. You're doing pretty good. Did you hurt yourself? Huh? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, you betcha. Where'd you hit yourself at? Oh, God. I've got, I've got plenty of hurts. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to die. How are you going to do that? Well... I think maybe you can, you can, uh, I'll make a, a, uh, I'll write a, oh, well, I write, oh yeah, I sure do, well, write with, well, with a hand that doesn't work. What are you going to write? What do you need to write? Ask a request to be released. I want to go. I, I, I want to go. Uh, the only way for me to do is to just not, is to just not give, don't give myself any, don't, don't give the body what it needs to to continue. 
It's the only thing I know. Don't give it any either water or food. Stop it, and you will go. go. The death will come, just naturally. And uh, you don't have to have somebody around to watch it, do you? No. No. You wouldn't have to see that. But the only thing is that you, there, the body would have to be taken care of. You know, I mean, when it's gone, I mean, when the life has actually ceased, then that carcass has to be disposed of. Nothing, there's nothing that physically possible for me to do. Oh, there are things that I would like to have done, but I'm not going to do them. I would like to see this place disposed of. But just think how long I've had. I don't need any more time than I've had. I've had plenty of it. Now, I'm not even disappointed in what I've had. I don't think, I don't know that one has the ability to do this, but it's, a, it's poss, it, it may be possible. Uh, it's worth a try. It has to be a state of mind. And uh, I know that it's certainly it's okay to go, because what in the world what can I do? I, I, I seem to compli complicate everything. I, I limit the amount of things I can do. Each, each thing I do is a loss. Each fall I've had has been a loss. And I get so confused. This is the floor that Bob put in. This linoleum is 40 years old. Who put it in? Bob. Your husband, Bob. He couldn't. He was dead. How old are you today? Well, I'm not sure. I never have been. After they, after they quit, you know, they had, had to quit. At the end, when was it they quit uh, reading the the uh, end of oh doggone it? You're all older than that anyway. Older than what? When they quit? When they quit? Birthdays? Well, yeah. something. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Are you a you? Who are you? I'm Leon. They say that they don't permit you to. They don't they don't permit you to give a person an injection. See? This is what you don't do. I think that if a person has a seriously There you go. Seriously requests that they have an injection that would permit permit them to pass on. I think it should be permitted. But if it isn't done, you see, they'll no people will fight it. Yeah. Because they say it's it's legal. I mean, not legal. It's it's uh, it's uh, uh, but if I can just stop breathing.
it would help. You're here, you're here for a reason. Or for you're here for what well, you're here. And that, and I know that once you're born, you can't, uh, you didn't ask to be born. And, and you, didn't, you didn't request to be. So you are not at fault. And I don't say that I, I am at, I don't say that I feel that it is the fault of somebody else because I was born. If you justify your existence, uh, you're here, and uh, I am not going to destroy myself. I'm not going to take a, a suicide. It isn't the kind of thing I would want to do. Because you can't hurt yourself without hurting somebody else. Sometimes you don't really know why you behave the way you do. There's a lot of things we need to learn. A lot of things we need to know and a lot of things we need to do. And if you're going to live with other people, you should live, li you should be at least kind, courteous, and helpful. You have to look at yourself and see what, what is it we really need, really need to live, to survive. As an or as a human being, I don't expect anyone else to believe what I do. But I'm happy with it. I hope that's all right. Is it? It shouldn't hurt anyone because, after all, I'm not fussing about it. I have no... Look, I am not afraid of death at all. I just want to be out of here. I hope you have a great day. Huh? I hope you have a great day today. Huh? Yeah, it would be. You're 99. Well, I hope you get your birthday wish. Huh? I hope your wishes come true. Do you have any wishes and hopes? Yes, I do. Uh, just well, Back it up, buddy. All the time. That's right. That means that I don't believe what you, what you are. <laughs> I don't have to live it. Furniture staff. Will that be okay? The death will come just naturally. And uh, you don't have to have somebody around to watch it. You wouldn't have to see that. But the only thing is that you. There, the body would have to be taken care of, you know, I mean, when it's gone, I mean, when the life is actually ceased, then that carcass has to be disposed of.